Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. if you are new here. Alrighty, so I have a video that's been a long time coming and the past couple of months, I've been trying out a lot of different makeup through Top Shelf Tuesday that is in the under $20, under $25 category and I wanted to present today all of the best of everything that I've tried. Alrighty guys, so I just wanna roll in and chat about all of this because I think this is going to be a bit longer of a video. So yeah, let's just start. So the two foundations that I've picked to be a part of this video are the Pacifica Alight Foundation, and this is a liquid foundation, and then also the Root Pretty. This is their Pearl Powder Foundation. So I am wearing this one today, the Pacifica, and this is shade 38 Neutral Fair. Um, and then I have C1 of the Root Pearl Powder Foundation. Why I picked these, this one has 40 shades, this one has 30 shades. So both of these have a pretty wide shade range. This one is $18 and then this one is $16. This one is only available on Root Pretty's website, but this one is available at Ulta or also at Target, I believe. It's at least available on Target.com. So the Root is a very, very light shade. I have shade C1. I could probably go with shade C2. I got C1 because I was just thinking, oh, you know, it won't be light enough for me, but it actually was because they do have 40 shades. I have liked this and I keep it around. This is the only loose mineral foundation that I keep around so far. Maybe I'll find another one. Um, because of the price point, just truly, I think it is great that there is something out there that has 40 shades that is below $20. And it's a pretty small brand as well, so if you want to support a smaller brand, I think this is a great product and a great brand to go with. Pacifica is a bit larger of a company, but 16 bucks. if you like the liquid foundations, this one does work pretty well for me. At first, I thought it was best for oily skin, but when I use a facial oil underneath it, it works a lot better. So I do like this with a facial oil underneath it. It just spreads out better and isn't as dry and patchy in places because when I was using it without the oil, it was just clinging to some spots, but with the oil, a lot better. This is just one that I have liked so far. I think I'm wearing it today. I think my skin looks really, really nice and pretty flawless. So I would recommend it to people. Those 30 shades really do help it as well because it has a wide range for everyone, right? So I just selected one concealer for this video and that is the Han Skincare Cosmetics Concealer. So one of the things I really like about this is the coverage. I think it does have pretty good coverage. Um, I'm wearing it today. I wore it underneath the eyes and I have shade Fair and then I did do some blemish concealing and I do have some blemishes right now. So just with the foundation, it wears very, very nicely. One of the downfalls, I guess, of this, there's only five shades. They have expanded. They started out with three, then they brought two more, a lighter and a deeper one. And I hope that they expand more just because this concealer has a very, very good formulation. It's lightweight, but it has pretty full coverage. And for 18 bucks, kind of can't really beat that, especially in the concealer realm. It was actually kind of hard for me to find a concealer that I liked to include in this. I tried a lot that were just okay, but this one just really was pretty good. I, again, I liked it for blemishes and for under eye, and I can use it for both, and that was another thing. Sometimes a concealer will be too dark, even if it's the fairest shade, and I can use it on blemishes, but I can't use it under my eyes. I wanted something that you guys and me, obviously, I can use under my eyes and on my blemishes, and I don't have to have two products because more money, right? The next category I wanna talk about, highlights. Okay, so the first one I wanna talk about is the Found Cosmetics. This is their Instant Glow Highlighting Palette. So this is about $12. This is a Walmart cleaner brand. And I really have liked this. I use this highlight today. I think it does a nice job. I just use this cream shade today. Sometimes I'll use the pink and sometimes I'll mix them together. I don't usually love highlighting palettes or any sort of an artist palette just because there's always shades that we all don't use. But with this, because $12, I can use this as an eyeshadow. So I'm okay with this artist palette. I kind of, again, I like it. I just think it's a good value. The quality is good. I was just kind of impressed with this from Walmart. I thought that was kind of interesting. And then this one, I believe is about $19. This is the Gabriel Thistle Cream Highlight. I really have liked this. I did not use this today. 
again, I only have one face, but I have enjoyed this. It's nice and creamy. It's actually a cream to powder formulation, so it feels really nice and smooth. I've really enjoyed this product. I think it's super pretty. It has a nice payoff, and yeah, I kind of like that it's in this little pot as well. It's just easy to travel with. Okay, blushes. So I have a couple of blushes here, and this is something that I really narrowed down. I started out with six that I really like, and then I ended up with these two. So this one I'm not wearing today, but I've worn a lot in the past. This is the Burt's Bees Shy Pink Blush. I really have liked this. I know a lot of people on YouTube really like this blush. I think the quality is really good. The packaging's nice as well. I mean, it's the honeycomb kind of theme. And this is just a really nice blush with really nice payoff, nice pigmentation, but it's not too over the top. And I know people with totally different skin tones than mine who really like this blush. So I would recommend checking it out. I think it's a nice one. This also is one that's under $10. Wanted to add that in there. Okay, and then I have the Vapor. This is their multi-use stick in shade Sultry. I'm wearing this today on my cheeks. I love Vapor's multi-use sticks. I love Vapor's face products. They're just some of my favorites. This is their smaller size of their multi-use stick. I've never used a full multi-use stick, so I love that they came out with this because they also, they didn't cheapen the product, but they lessened the price. That's probably the better terminology. So these are $22, really, really nice product because I can use this on my eyelids, I can use it on my cheeks, I can use it on my lips. Super, super pretty. I would highly recommend checking these out. And I really appreciate the fact that they came out with something that is a little bit more affordable. $22, a lot of people, can justify that purchase. So I have two setting powders that I wanted to talk with you guys about. I actually did use both of these setting powders today just because I try to use as much of this stuff as possible. So the first one is the Well People. This is their Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. I really like this for under the eyes. It is pretty brightening. It really does what it says it's going to do and I appreciate it for that. This one is tr about $22. So it's also in the more expensive part of the affordable round, but still under $25. So I wanted to include that in there because I can also use this to set the rest of my face. It's just, again, I was kind of doing something different today for this video. So what I use to set my whole face today is the Pacifica. This is their neutral mattifier in shade one. I believe they have three shades of this. This is about $12. I can use this under my eyes as well. I have noticed a little bit of bunching and creasing if I use this under my eyes though. So I have to kind of be careful with it and pretty light handed if I do set my under eye with it. But the rest to my face it kind of adds half a level of coverage as well because it is a little bit tinted so I have liked this I thought it was a nice product I'm not obsessed with the packaging I just don't love this kind of packaging but the product's really good so when it's under 15 bucks 12 bucks for this is pretty good deal Okay, so the brow product that I wanted to include in this video, this is the Zuzu Lux Russet Cream Brow Pencil. They have four shades of this. I used this today. It creates a nice, naturally bold brow. It has a spoolie on one end, and it's just a really nice and creamy formulation. So it's one I would recommend to you all. I have been impressed with it. And Zuzu Lux also has some other products that I really have liked. I haven't tried the whole line by any means, but I've tried quite a few things between the Gabriel and the Zuzu Lux, and they have some good stuff that's pretty affordable. So I have quite a few eyeshadows to talk about with you guys just because I wanted to give you all options because eyeshadow is something that I wouldn't say it's a really personal choice. It is but there's just a lot of options out there eyeshadow wise. So I wanted to present you with a few. I've talked about this a ton. This has been in favorites, all of that. This is the Well People. This is their nudist eyeshadow palette. This has five shades and it's just amazing quality. One thing I really like about it is that you get your mattes and your shimmers in this. It's a very basic palette. This isn't something to phone home and be like, oh my gosh, it has all the jewel tones or something. No, this is just a basic neutral palette, but the quality is good. They blend out nicely. I'm wearing this today. I'm wearing about four shades from it. Basically the first four shades right in here. Super, super buttery. 
I can, again, blend them out nicely. And I just think it's a great basic palette for a lot of people. They do have another palette that is more cool tone. This is a little bit warmer tone. I have swatched that one. Those shades just weren't for me personally, but they might be for you if you like those cooler tones. I just prefer the warmer tones personally, again. So I do have this palette from Binicos that I tried, and this was under $15, I believe. And it's all of these gray shades. This wasn't what I would normally go for, and I was very interested in this palette because of the price point, and I never had really tried this Binicos brand. They do have some of their stuff at Target. It's a German brand, I believe, and I thought these wore pretty nicely. I do prefer the Well People palette for my daily looks, but I wore this as more of a going out nighttime look, and I liked it. I thought it was pretty. And then I wanted to include Han Skincare Cosmetics, their little palettes. So they have these pans, and these pans, I think that they've gone up to $15 each, which is pricey. So it's one of those things. I have a few of them, but if I wasn't a beauty blogger, I would have a couple of the, actually I probably still would have four. I like these because I can mix and match them with other palettes that I have, even adding this to this. I really liked adding these in with other palettes. I do like to have a few singles. I'm curious if other people are like that or if, or if you just prefer a palette or what you do. I do like to have some singles because it makes traveling easy. So I did want to show you guys two different options for mascaras that have totally different wands because I know people prefer different kinds of wands. My friend Erin gave this to me. This is the Organic Wear by Physicians formula, and this is just this packaging. They have a lot of different mascaras. I have tried the one that's a metallic green, and I like that one too, but I really did like this one. I think it's their original one that has the metallic green lid, and then this florally, or not florally, it's a tan bottle with leaves all over it. So this one has a really nice, thin silicone wand. I like this because it really got into my lash roots and made my lashes look a little bit more voluptuous. Kind of a special effect kind of thing. They weren't really that voluptuous. It was just, again, when you can really get in the root with a brush like this, you can kind of create those. I don't even have that word. What is that word? Special effects, the only word I can really think of. When I can really just get in the root and fill in my lash line, my lashes look really nice and volumized. So this is one that I have liked. I would repurchase it. This one is under 10 bucks. You can get this so many places. CVS, Target, I'm pretty sure Walgreens. This one is my personal favorite. It's the Lily Lolo mascara. So it has just this traditional pipe cleaner wand. And this is their original. So I also have their really volumizing one, which I like, but I like this one the most because I'm wearing it now. It's nice for daily looks and I can build it up to be a little bit more voluptuous. Again, under $20. This one's available a lot of places as well. You can't really find it in big box stores, but you can find it at most clean beauty stores. And I just think it's really, really super nice. I think that my lashes look nice with it. So I have talked about this eyeliner multiple times. This is my all time favorite eyeliner in all of Clean Beauty. This is the Burt's Bees. This is their shade Soft Black, but I love all of their shades of this. This is their eyeliner. It is amazing. I'm wearing it today in my lash line and my upper water line, my tight line. I love this stuff because it's creamy. It's available at a lot of different places, online, in store, and it truly is the best. The pigment payoff holds all freaking day, and I just haven't found anything that I found things that are really good, that are even more expensive, but this is just for the price point, it's under 10 bucks or around 10 bucks. I'm gonna keep purchasing this. I really, really like it and I would highly recommend it to others. I feel like I've heard other people talk about this as well and they really like it too. So it's not just me, it's a lot of people out there. So the lip liner that I wanted to feature is by Honey Bee Garden. So I'm actually wearing this shade today underneath my lipstick and this is the Honey Bee Garden shade Charisma. I don't own a ton of lip liners. This one's really good. It keeps everything in the line, super pigmented. It's just a nice lip liner. I feel like there's not tons to say about lip liner. This is one that fits this video well because I believe this one's in the $10 range too. So I can dig that. I really did want to do a video about everything under $10, but I would have had like two things to include. So this is one of those things. So I do have three lip products to share with you all because I feel like lip products, it's important to have multiple options because there's multiple categories. 
The first one I want to talk about is the Au Natural. This is their lip gloss in Fortune. I think these are a very, very underrated product in clean beauty. The pigmentation's super nice. And it's a super smooth formula, so it's not tacky or anything. They're about $18, and I just really liked it. It has the doe foot applicator, just if anyone's curious. So my favorite liquid lip in all of Clean Beauty also happens to be under $20. This is the Clove and Hello liquid lip. This is their shade Napa. I did swatch it on the back of my hand. These are super duper pigmented, super long wearing. I purchased my mom one, not in this shade, in a different shade that's a little more neutral because that's what she wanted. And I've really enjoyed these. They wear really nicely. They're really long wearing. I'm trying to think of anything else that I should add with this. And under $18, that's that's pretty good. And today I'm wearing the Cloven Hello lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick shade. It is shade Desert Rose. What I love about this shade, first off, this is $20. All the lipsticks are $20. And super pigmented, super freaking creamy. And I don't have to think about color matching stuff. I don't have to think about the color wheel when I'm doing my eyes and my lips. I can just put this on and it seriously goes with everything. That's why I like it. It's really easy to use. The pigmentation's pretty flawless and I just think it's a nice look. Alrighty y'all, so I hope this was of interest to you. Let me know if any of these are your favorites. If you have other favorites to add, let us know down below. There's no way, I only have one face. I can't try every single thing that's out there. I try and try a lot so I can give you guys reviews based off of just a lot of information and not just I've tried one or two things kind of thing. I did take a while to do this video because I wanted it to be pretty curated. So I guess I'm becoming a real influencer now. <laughs> okay guys, so thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and thumbs up this video if you were into it and have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.